All right, so uh, this year we've got a couple of new machines here. Uh, what, what, what we've got right here is the uh, Battle Zone arcade game. This was made by Atari in 1980. It is very different from a modern arcade game in that it uses a vector graphics display, right? So instead of imagining a normal display where you've got uh, row by row, uh, column by column, sort of a pixel display, this one works by generating individual line segments. So it uses the electron beam in the CRT uh, like a pen or a pen plotter or even a 3D printer. So X and Y deflection. And uh, so what we've got right here is a 5-inch uh, TV test CRT with a deflection yoke on it that I wound myself. And we've got a Cortex M4 microprocessor that's running an emulation of the game. And uh, that runs the DAX that generate the deflection that put the display up on the CRT. So did you have any problems with the initial winding or did it work right off the bat? Uh, so the deflection yoke did not work right away. It, it took quite a bit of effort to uh, figure out where the magnetic field lines should go. And it turns out it's a bit of a lost art form. But I lucked out and I found an old book from the 1950s with detailed directions on how to properly wind a deflection yoke. My name is Headley Rainey. I'm working with Eric Schlafer, yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, Tube Time. And we have these recreations of old arcade machines running on these old tubes, oscilloscope tubes, and it's being controlled by an STM 407 microcontroller, STM 32 F 407, which has the unique property of having two 12-bit decks. And so it came to our attention that we could probably run the old vector games using that microprocessor. And so we we had an old emulator from the 90s, which was eventually was adopted into MAME. But so we revived the code. Some friends of mine and I had worked on it back in the early 90s. So like for this one, for Battlezone, it has the MathBox emulation. So that software was ported to the STM 407, driving both DACs, and it's running the real awesome. it's running the real code, the Battle Zone code and the Asteroids code. It's being emulated by a 6502 emulator running on the ST microprocessor. So then the audio is for the Asteroids. It was wave files which are being streamed out and merged together using DSP instructions. And similarly for the Battle Zone, the audio is merged together and sent out. Again, the STM board has a uh, has a codec on it, so you can. And drive the audio straight out to a speaker. Uh, so if you want to go and get more information about these machines, go to uh, tube time, all one word, uh, dot US. Great, thank you so much for sharing with us today. Oh, thank you.